Welcome to the fourth episode of Operand series. Today we will discuss the Operand deployment scenario. So let's start. As we discussed in the last episodes, the traditional RAN uh, components, RRU and the PPU functionality, was split into separate groups. For new radios, some of the functionality was moved into the RRU or radio unit, while the other functions of the PPU were split into distributed unit and centralized unit, DU and CU. This functional split is generally referred to RAN uh, disaggregation, and we discussed this in the last episode. So here's a front to hole interface between, for example, uh, RU and the DU, it's called front to hole, and it's called also option split. 7.2x and this is defined and standardized by ORAN Alliance. However, the, uh, the disaggregation or the function or splits between CU and DU is called option 2 and is standardized by 3GBP. The standardization bodies like especially 3GBP clearly defined and recommended the functionality split between CU and the DU. However, the distribution of function between ready unit and the DU was left for industry to uh, determine. Okay, so in this case, ORAN defined option 7.2x. We will discuss more uh, in more details about option 7.2x in the upcoming episodes. So the question is now, how can we host the RU, DU, CU in Operan or in VRAN, for example, if we are talking about proprietary or open interfaces? The concept is the same. So, uh, but before I answer these questions, uh, like let's answer what is the difference between functions in the DU and CU. Generally, the DU hosts the real-time functions with latency sensitive like scheduling. However, like CU hosts the latency tolerant function like, uh, for example, carry aggregation. So uh, also CU provides support for higher layers of protocol stacks such as ISDA, BDCP, RRC, while DU provides support for the lower layers of the protocol stack such as RLC, MAC, and physical layer. For that reason, we should take care about how to host and where to host this node and the interference uh, interface between them also, we need to take care about latency and the bandwidth requirement for each interface. So now let's discuss what are the possible uh, operand deployment scenario. But generally, we will discuss about RAN deployment scenario first, and after that we, we can discuss the difference between uh, VRAN, ORAN, CRAN, Cloud RAN, and DRAN or traditional RAN. Okay, so. In this case, the first scenario we can see here is RU, CU, DU, all of them are hosted in collectively in one site cell. So the cell site here could compromise all nodes within the antenna, and this is like the traditional RAN or distributed RAN or DRAN. And the second uh, scenario here, when we move the CU to the data center or centralized data center to handle many DUs and RRUs. In, the, in this case, we have to keep the mid hole latency and the bandwidth requirement. So in this case, we will move the CU in the centralized data, uh, data center. You can see here centralized data center and the edge data center. What is the main difference between them is like the distance is far like from uh, cell size, this is the edge data center, but for example, if we are talking about like 20 kilometers or 18 kilometers from the cell size, so in this case, we are talking about centralized data center. And generally speaking, centralized data center can host also the core network uh, like uh, EPC or 5G core, whatever the core network components are hosted in centralized data center. Sometimes, yes, we can move or shift based on latency, requirement or use case related to latency to edge data center. But this is 
like overview about the difference between edge data center. There is something also called far edge data center is more near from the cell site. Okay, now the third scenario here is that the use uh, for multiple sites can be pooled at the location within kilometers away from this uh, cell site and the small data center here hosting this DUs is referred to edge data center and this DUs could still be physical device uh, so it's a proprietary uh, purpose built uh, device but with virtualization and the containerization technology catching up most the vendor and the operator have learned towards the use of containerized DU running on parameter servers or commonly referred as VDU, for example. So this is another story. We will discuss about it, how we can host a virtualized VDU or C containerized uh, VDU, okay? You can see here we, we have a two interfaces, the mid hole and front hole. And here we can't move DU like far away uh, without keep in mind the bandwidth requirement here and the latency uh, restriction between RU and DU. At the, most of them, they are, for example, in uh, option 7.2x, for example, the RU will host the low physical and the DU will host the uh, high physical and the scheduling will be as well here. So that means there will be some uh, like uh, latency sensitive information between RU and the DU and we need to keep this synchronized together. So the last one is the fourth scenario. The CUs can be hosted as the edge data center, but when logically possible, uh, it's more feasible to pool them at the location that may be further away from the cell site compared to edge data center like centralized data center. So in this case, we can pool the DU and the CU host them in the data center. Uh, keep in mind also the front hole uh, uh, like latency and the bandwidth. Uh, but what is the benefits to host CU and the DU here in the data center? We can like support many DUs or many RUs from different sites as the same location. We don't need to host all the DUs in data center and after that to connect it to RU. So based on the scenario, so no one fits all scenario uh, is exist, but just we need to keep in mind there are some constraints in the deployment itself. It is roller dense, uh, the RU is massive MIMO, the spectrum is sub-6, is 4G or 5G. So there are many factors will impact which scenario will face you. But uh, as you know, there are many like keywords uh, we hear in the operand like or VRAN, like some Sometimes you can see DRAN, VRAN, CRAN, or centralized RAN, or cloud RAN, or ORAN. So what is the main difference between them? Uh, generally speaking, when the implementation of RAM function, especially the CU and the DU as a virtual function, uh, like virtual machine or containers running on like general purpose hardware is referred to VRAN. So if the DU or CU uh, was hosted as virtual machines or containers in edge data center or centralized data center. This is called a VRAN. And still maybe this interface should be like proprietary. So it's not a operand, it's VRAN. And also from a deployment and placement perspective, when the DU and the RU are collocated as a cell site, it's referred to distributed RAN or DRAN. In contrast, if the DU is moved away to the uh, edge data center or centralized data center, then we can see centralized RAN. Okay, so in this case, we can see centralized. And when CU and the DU implement as a cloud native function, typically containers, the deployment is called the cloud RAN. So it can be hosted on server on, on the cloud like AWS or uh, Google uh, Azure or whatever the cloud or private cloud. In this case, we can see it it's a cloud RAN. It's a not a CRAN only, but it's also as a cloud RAN. Last but not least is the use of the term ORAN. So this referred to use of open interfaces, like front hole open interfaces here uh, uh, between the RAN components, uh, RU, DU, and CU, and uh, as specified by ORAN Alliance. 
in this case, we can see operand. So when we say operand, for example, in this deployment, we can see the front hall uh, is open. So are you from vendor A, D, U, and C, U from vendor P, software from vendor C, and the hardware from vendor D, and so on. So based on that, we can say this is a operand. So this is the main difference between all of them. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel to get notification for the upcoming Operan episodes. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment on the YouTube video uh, comment section. See you in the next episode.